Welcome guys, what a day. Wow, I said this in my last one, but not having a car is insane. In, in South Florida, not having a car is insane. All right, we're at the gym. I'm already out of breath and sweaty just from walking here, so it's kind of nice, I guess, because you don't have to warm up forever. Drinking my pre-workout a little bit and um, yeah, gonna warm up just with the bar here. Warm up just with the bar a little bit. Oh, today we got some shoulders and arms, guys, again. Back for shoulders and arms. It should be a fun workout, to be honest. I do have to say that if I do shoulders and arms, it's probably my funnest, funnest workout. I will warm up a little bit here just with the bar. And I know I haven't done any warm-up set with you guys before, but since I didn't do a video talking to you guys before I figured I'll just do it here while I warm up and while I put the plates on and everything so yeah we're gonna do this right here is our first exercise shoulder press you can do all kinds of shoulder press you know it doesn't have to be specifically this one there's a lot of machines and uh, a lot of different variations of everything I used to never press behind my back because I thought that it's bad for my shoulders, but I'm, I'm gonna be honest. Guys, pressing behind your neck and in front is both necessary. If you wanna build nice and round shoulders, which I think to certain degrees I have, um, it's super important, seriously. So yeah, I feel really good today. I ate a lot yesterday. I hit over 4,000 calories. So yeah, had a, had, had a lot of food in me and honestly that's one thing that you'll realize as a guy especially if you're trying to gain weight the more calories especially carbs you eat the day before makes a massive 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 difference it makes day and night difference of what you can and what you cannot push Sorry. the height of the seat so what I need to do is I need to find something that I can adjust the seat for to be honest the height of the seat really sucks for me because on the lower one it's too low and on the higher one so the high, the lower one is too low for me and the higher one is too high so I need to put something underneath my ass so I'm like right here that would be ideal to be honest with that said sometimes I literally just go like this and then I'll just take out the weight like this. Which is not the best, but fuck, it works. You know what I mean? It's okay. I'm gonna try to cuss less in the videos in general. That's what I've been trying to do, by the way. Just cuss a little less in the videos. Also, I finally got a haircut, which I'm so happy about. But I have to wear the hat so I can put the mic easy. I'd rather not, to be honest, because I'm sweating so much underneath. But the other video that I did where I had the mic here, it's just bothersome in every aspect. In every aspect. All right. Today is just like we get right into the workout. And then I think we're going to talk a little bit more later. Do one more set of this. Bye. Hey. 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 I don't think, I don't know how heavy I'm gonna go today on these since it's my first exercise too. And I am personally slow, like I'm slow at warming up. I know that, I can tell y'all when I was about 20 and I would train, I could go in and honestly like my third and fourth set already could be like full power. Now I can certainly tell you that my body needs a little bit longer to warm up. Um, I'm gonna try to do, none of the cables were open, but I'm gonna try to do some cable uh, cables like this 
getting really my my shoulders fully warmed up for that too. But you know, sometimes you don't have to, actually not sometimes, most of the times I would say eight out of 10 days, you can never do exactly what you want it to do. It's always going to be kind of a random thrown together workout, right? Because like I said, you don't want to just sit there and not work out at all just because something is busy. So. All right, I'm gonna do a couple more sets on this. And, uh, well, actually, what am I saying? I'm going to do my working sets on this now. So I'm going to put probably another 10 on here. Maybe two 10s. Maybe I'll do it at 45. And then I'll do my working sets on this. I'm just kind of rushed into this right now. And then we'll see where we go from there. But working sets on this will feel pretty nice. All right. I swear, I feel like hats are getting bigger. I don't know, people, are people's heads always massive or something? I swear hats never fit me anymore. They're all so big on my head. So I just got this hat. It's the same hat that I had. And I purchased it again. And now it's just way too big on my, my small head. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm going crazy. I'm just going crazy. And you guys are watching it on video. I stretched a little now. And I uh, set everything up for my 35 pounds. I have 35 pounds per each side right now, which means that's like 115. I'm not gonna go too heavy on this again. I think that was eight reps. I think that was eight reps. Don't quote me on it. I felt really nice. That was my second working set with this. So I got two more working sets with the same weight. Sorry, just trying to gather my thoughts. But yeah, that was my second working set. A little different today because I wasn't able to properly warm up the way I, I like to warm up. But uh, I think we're off to a good start. Um, I'm gonna try to get on one of the cables. Hopefully, everything is very busy in this gym. I'm in a different LA Fitness right now. Everything is very busy, so I don't know what it's gonna be like in a moment. If we cannot get cables, we're gonna just grab some weights and do maybe some front, some side raises get that going and then we're gonna I think focus a little bit more on triceps today I don't even know to be honest with y'all because I think tomorrow I got chest again yes tomorrow should be chest again it's been I trained yesterday legs and the day before back it's already chest again you know when it when it's um, when you go every single day sometimes you can come really fast like one day to another you know, you think that you think that you have so much time between the days, but I mean, really, it's like two, three days if you don't take rest at all. And I and I usually don't take rest, so we'll see. Biceps and triceps. I've said it's definitely a little bit better though than I did when I was in that uh, random gym in Utah. When I was at that random gym in Utah, I didn't really get the workout in that I wanted to. <sighs> As always, change of plans, but we got one of these. So this is one of those static benches that doesn't move. It's my favorite, it's absolutely my favorite. So what we're gonna be doing right now, is we're gonna do a traditional Arnold press. So the Arnold press 
the traditional arm of Chris. Goes up, down, inside, and out again. It's a little bit too light, to be honest. But then I can show you guys relatively clean. How this works. I see most people do this really wrong, by the way, because I see most people go up and then just drop their arms together and basically have one movement. It's not the purpose of this. The purpose of the Arnold press is you go down here 90 degrees, just below 90. You turn it inside like this. And you don't let it drop too low and you turn it out. So you also train the front shoulder quite a bit. That's that's the whole purpose. I finished the uh, Arnold presses. Finished Arnold presses. Now we got normal, just dumbbell shoulder presses. Uh, I got 60 pounds here. Let's see what. Let's see how many reps we go for. Like I said, when I'm by myself, I don't actually count, so I don't actually know like really how many reps I can do this for. I think the I th still had the eighth one in me, but I think I gave up. That's not good. I think I gave up. I think I had the eighth one in me. I should have done it. So uh, we got four working sets in total with this. Probably a minute or so wait in between, and and then we got the shoulder raises, and then I think we're done with shoulders. We're just gonna pump to triceps and biceps, which we're gonna. Switch off. I'm gonna do some triceps, some biceps, some triceps, some biceps. Kind of work the opposite muscle, which is also kind of nice sometimes. I used to do that. I used to do chest and back sometimes on the same day. Kind of work the opposite. Definitely helps. Because people don't realize that at the end of the day, you always train a lot more muscles when you do anything because not no movement is that separated. Unless, let's say, you lay down and you really just pull a cable for your triceps or something. Other than that, it's, you're gonna get everything everywhere, so. I think that was seven reps, so I'm gonna go for eight on this next one. I gotta get eight reps, so I used to do more weight. What's tough, sometimes mentally as well, and to agree with mentally, is when you were at a higher weight already, especially as a guy, I feel like when you, like let's say, I used to bench press 315 for like five reps. Now I can't do that anymore. It's, it puts a mental strain on you. But I do think that it's quite important to not fall for that and understand that the actual weight is not going to determine on how healthy you are and how fit you are. If you do have, obviously, if you're doing powerlifting and whatever, and your goal is to go for a specific weight, then it's different. But then you're also going to train different than what I train. I train. I don't train for powerlifting meets, you know? I train for overall health, I guess, overall strength, and be, be a good athlete. Be good at all kinds of different things that I do, not just lifting weights. I right, almost said here, one more set here with you guys. There you go, eight. I believe that was eight at least. My shoulders are definitely at this point one of my weaker muscles. It used to be a strength as well. I injured this right shoulder. I don't even know how, I don't remember how I injured it anymore. Probably a year ago. And it just, 
just hasn't gone back to normal, I shall say. Just has not gone back to normal. But we're working on it. Patience. Patience, stretching. Ice baths. Icing your body is just in general good. If you can't take a ice bath, you can just put ice on your shoulder. Icing your aches is way better, by the way, than all the hot stuff. People, people talk about taking hot baths. It's not, it's not that good for you because the majority of issues that I've encountered that people have, the majority, is going to be inflammation. And inflammation is countered by cold, not by warmth. So. And then when it comes to supplements, the few things that I do actually take, like I said, is I think I think I said it in the video before, is multivitamins. And then fish oil is good, just omega-3. Counter, counter all those inflammations a little bit. Help your joints. We finished the heavy. The heavy pushes it was incredible. It was really good. And honestly, it felt much better on my shoulder close than when I did the wide ones. So that certainly tells me that I should do the close ones a little bit more and let the wide ones rest. I already did two sets of these. I just got 20 pounds. I'm just going to sit down, lean forward a little bit. Let's do a little, some shoulder raises here. Try to swing a little, but not too much. And try not to swing too much. You can also turn your elbows in a little bit. Be less straight, or you can even put the weight like this a little bit sideways. It all works different parts of the shoulder in the end. And you should do this exercise until you really can't lift your arm anymore. If you can still do like a straight set, then you're not done. Then you need to go a little bit heavier. But in general, on this one as well, like on the presses, for example, I definitely like to go a little heavier on the shoulder raises. I don't think you need to go heavy. There's no real, there's no real point of going heavy on the, on the shoulder raises. You just want to get a nice little burn in here. So I don't, I don't take long breaks in here anyways. I got two more sets. I'm just going to do four quick sets. Also, I like to do these a lot as a superset. So if I wasn't filming right now, what I like to do a lot is I'll do like a shoulder press and in between the shoulder presses, I'll go and superset. I'll superset the shoulders. It helps me a lot in general because it tires me out a little bit, which keeps me from going too heavy. As I said then before, if you go too heavy, obviously you risk Injuries here and there, and uh, when I try, when I superset, what's nice is it, it it stops me from just you know going too heavy because I'm already tired. If you're already tired, then you're not going to be going as crazy on the other side. All right, we've been training for. I started a little late, I think like 40 minutes. I'm definitely sweating. And then guys, I say this, and I'm gonna say this probably in many more of these videos, but if you're not sweating while you're working out at all, like you're doing something wrong, trust me. Because even if you do really heavy weight and you take long breaks, each set of that heavy weight should be extremely difficult for you. Like if I do, I don't know, for example, if I do really heavy squats sometimes, and I'll take actual long breaks. I mean, I'm taking pretty long breaks in between now but I'm still dripping sweat because every set I do, I do to failure. I do to the point where I just, it's just, everything is burning, right?
Oh. Oh. No chance. Oh my God. This is when you know you're done. I couldn't even lift the weight up at all anymore. No chance to lift the weight even up a little bit, a tiny little bit. I think we're gonna have a long video today. If it's a little bit longer than usual, I apologize. Definitely have a sick pump going though. <sighs> Off to some triceps now. We don't have much battery left in the camera. <sighs> I have to turn my hat around otherwise. It just sucks doing this. Because I like to have the cable right in front of my face. I think we gotta go a little heavier. We gotta go a little heavier here. How much more? I don't know, but a little heavier. Just realized I forgot my forgot my phone. I leave my phone all over the gym all the time. If you're like me, I've almost lost my phone about a hundred times. I gotta go a little heavier. Let's see. <sighs> Gosh damn. That was a good pump. That was a good pump. I like to personally be close the most, like this, but I gotta train both. I gotta train close and I need to train a little bit wider as well. You can't just do, you can't just do one thing. You gotta train all the different facets of your arms, so. Push downs, I'm gonna put this down and pump out arms I think as well, or we're gonna do some curls. I have not decided on that yet. If that area is not too busy again where we just were, maybe I'll set it up and we'll do actually curl curls. I haven't done free weight curls in a very long time. All right. I also realized I said the word all right a lot. My apologies. This is new for me as well. It's new for me as well. It's the first time I'm doing a vlog. I don't even know sometimes, half the time I don't know what to talk about. But we all start, we all start somewhere. <sighs> the battery died on us as I thought it would. Here we go. We got a nice little cable, not even cable, it is cables. Rope, cable, rope, push down. As the next, unfortunately I'm not as pumped anymore because I have to run for the second battery. But at least I had a second battery with me. So we're doing two. Or three triceps exercises. And then we're doing two or three biceps exercises. So we did the first triceps. This is the second one. And then we're going to do maybe one more. Or we're going to go into the biceps. I like doing the rope in general because what it does, it lets me push it out at the end. I didn't really feel it. Okay, I'm pretty tired still from the first set, but it lets me really push it out and really feel the, the muscle going like that. And you really feel that in the, in the triceps here. But at the end of the day, but at the end of the day, guys, I always say this, there's so many exercises. I personally just like to stick to the basics. So the basic exercises for me. All right, I'm already going in the next one. I don't like to take too long of a break here. Good. Ah, crazy pumped already. Already. I mean, we're almost done with the workout. You know, 
one thing that I find pretty crazy, in my opinion, is that people find time these days for everything, except for some of the things that matter the most, which is actually taking care of your body. So excuses are, excuses are there for everything, right? Oh, I don't have time for this, I don't have time for this, but somehow you have time to drive to McDonald's and eat. Take care, thank you. Um, sometimes you, somehow you have time to drive to McDonald's and eat shit. You know, <laughs> you can, you can, you can do the literally the same thing. I mean, if you live in Florida, for example, you can do the same thing and you can drive to Pollo Tropical, Pollo Tropical or anything. I mean, it really doesn't matter. There's so many places that can give you rice and chicken, rice and chicken. And it's not that expensive. I hate the excuse that, oh, the food is too expensive. Look, in general, food has become very expensive. I don't disagree with that. And I obviously feel it big time, but the excuse of, oh, the good food is more expensive. I don't know. McDonald's is not that cheap either anymore. Or Five Guys. Like I went to Five Guys yesterday. It's just not my typical, it's not my typical food, but I'm currently bulking so I can eat it. It doesn't matter really for me, the fat. Um, I'm still within my macros and everything, but I go to Five Guys and a, a, ba a bacon cheeseburger is like twelve eighty for one for one burger. And if you go to McDonald's and you just get a, I don't even know what they cost because I haven't been in McDonald's in forever in America. So I don't know what the price is, but it's not cheap, let me tell you. Let me move this camera on the other side. I think the lighting is a little bit better here. And we'll do one more set on this. We'll do one more set on this. I also finally got a haircut. If you watched my previous video, my hair was horrendous. Finally got a nice little haircut. Like I said, I just gotta wear the hat because I don't like putting the mic here. So for now, I'm definitely gonna keep the hat. Maybe I'll find a better solution. Maybe I'll do like an, like an old person wear those visor hats <laughs> that don't even have anything up here. That'll be fun. Oh wow. Triceps is exploding, which is very, very nice. I think for triceps, we might be done because we're doing chest tomorrow. So I think right now, next is going to just pump the, pump the biceps. And I think for that, we're actually going to start with some curls, which I haven't done in a long time. Let's move on to heavy curls. I got some 45s. First time curling weights like this in a long time. That felt good. That felt really good. I know it's a little overlit here. Camera with the angle. That felt really good. Man, at the end of the day, there's nothing quite like throwing away, throwing around heavy weight as much as I sigh in so many of my exercises. Just be more careful. Don't go too crazy. Not much, not much beat, not many things beat. Just thrown around heavyweight, but the 45s actually feel quite light. I was very surprised. I didn't think I can do that many reps. I thought I'd for sure die quicker on the reps, but 
Hey, better than the opposite, right? I'm gonna do, wow, this, is, this was a crazy set. I gotta take a little break, but I'm gonna do, I think two more sets with this, that's it. Two more sets with this, and then we're gonna find the bicep machine. And I think that's it. But like I said, guys, on, on biceps and on triceps, since I don't, I haven't trained it in years, I don't usually train for that long. That's just not the, just not the purpose of, of my, my training. Training should be you come in, you pump up the muscle, you dip. Now, if your goal is to lose weight and whatever, you gotta, you gotta crush a couple more calories. I'm, right now I've burned only 500 calories. That's what my watch says, roughly, roughly. Um, I don't know how much you can trust these watches anyways. Let me move you guys over to another angle, and then I'll just record the set on that one. Not, not your fault. It's my fault for filming. You're all good. <laughs> Last exercise of the day. Just a nice little bicep curl machine. You should have something similar to this one. I think this one exists in almost every gym. I'm just testing the weight, guys. I haven't done this also in a long time, so I'm gonna test the weight a little bit. But I definitely wanna pump this one out really nice. What I like about this one is both arms work separate, basically. Meaning that you're going to get the same work on both arms. So one of the issues I see certainly is since our bodies are what is it called? Asymmetrical? So non-symmetrical, whatever. I don't actually know if I'm saying the right word at, at this point. What happens is when you do, for example, a bar and you go like this, one arm will always do a little bit more work than the other. It's kind of similar for everything that we do. If you do squats, you will be leaning towards more towards one leg, shoulder presses. You'll see that most people are to a certain degree crooked. What's nice when you do the curls separate or when you do this separate is you're getting the same weight on both of them, right? And you don't have to be worrying about one arm over working the other. But let's just do these sets super quick because I'm already running super late. Let me turn my cap around again. Now I can't lean back. All right, we're back to standard, standard recording. Now I can lean my head back better. Yeah, this is the last exercise of this day. I'm going to try to adjust a few things for the next couple of videos. Guys, I know that I rush through a lot of the stuff. But I, what I also do think, though, to be honest with you guys, it's more realistic. Because if you're watching this, like, I see a lot of fitness influencers and they're recording these, like, obnoxious three-hour videos that they put in, like, a 30-minute span where they have all the time in the world because that's all they do. That's all they do. They wake up, they go to the gym and record that, then they go home, edit it, and that's it. That's all they do. Since for me, this is certainly not my number, well, at least not yet. This is not my number one income at all. And I do so many other things. And I have three hours 
in three hours I have to be home, which I need to call an Uber and drive home, which takes me about 30 minutes. I need to right now walk to Publix, which is the grocery store, get some food, take that Uber home, cook, eat, prepare everything before I go live stream at 6 p.m. again. And uh, oh, and I need to edit yesterday's video. So actually I need to edit yesterday's video still as well in the next three hours and 20 minutes. So me, me rushing, me rushing through these workouts, it's just maybe a little bit more realistic for everybody. Um, instead of having these videos of guys that don't do anything else and then they're like, oh, you have time for everything in your day. Well, I already went over my time today because I had a family breakfast this morning that took too long, I had to meet with my aunt. Let's go. I'm gonna do this one a little bit wider, you guys will see. God, cramp, cramp, which means I'm not drinking enough, I'm not drinking enough fluids, enough water. Most of us don't drink enough water, by the way, even when I try, it's, it's very difficult. I struggle with the same things you guys struggle with, by the way. You know, in general, I think people sometimes think that a certain people, they just have these like gifted genetics and they don't struggle with certain things. No, I, I, I don't agree with that. At the end of the day, I think we struggle, most of us, most of us, the majority of people struggle with the same thing. And then there's some very few exceptions, obviously, but I'd say the majority of us struggle with the same thing in life and, and what we do in life and where we go and what's the purpose of life and whatever. The one thing I hope that I can kind of alleviate stress-wise is help for you to get a, get a little workout in. A good wor to get a good workout in in an hour's time. I think that you can do all the workouts that I'm doing in one hour, and that's my goal. That's my goal, that you can do every workout that I do in one hour. Today, we started off with shoulder behind the back, we did four sets of the working sets, two warm-ups, or three warm-ups. Um, then we moved on to Arnold presses on the same thing, we, we did shoulder presses. In total, both together, we did about seven, maybe eight sets of that, probably a little bit less, actually. Then we moved on and did uh, triceps. We did the push down with the bar, with the cables. Then we did the rope. Then we did curls. And now we're doing this one and we're already done. I do really believe that this is, you know, it's possible to do this within a one hour period or so. I don't know why the camera keeps going brighter and then darker, so. Let's finish this last, last set and we're done for the workout. It's the only three here, it's fine. I'm already dying. Oh, that's it. That's it. Tomorrow we got another chest day. Should be exciting. We probably won't be as strong because we pumped a little bit more on the triceps today. But yeah, guys, we got 80 minutes on the watch and that's with recording and taking long breaks. So you should be able to do these workouts all in one hour, I believe, if you want to follow them. If you're just watching this for motivation, thank you. Thank you in general. If you watch this whole thing, thank you so much and make sure obviously you subscribe. I am trying to put out content every single day and it's only going to get better. I promise you guys. Off to living life. Hope everybody has a wonderful day. Let's crush the day. If you watch this in the morning, crush the day. If you watch this at night, have a rested sleep. And uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow, like every day.